welcome to walk. Like a little walk for mankind. We can have a big walk for everybody. Big walk of Chinese food, of course. We use the walk to do all kinds of things. And this is a good example to show you what you can do. <laughs> now, I am going to use the wok to make soup. Oh, I love soup. Soupy doopy. <laughs> the soup that I'm going to make is very nutritious. It has a holy cow in it. <laughs> it's called a beef tomato soup. It's very interesting because it's colorful and also has a lot of vitamin. Vitamin! <laughs> with the man and make your energy, you know, going. Wow. And then we are going to cook up some spare rib in the oriental hot sauce. And of course, the famous chicken fried rice. All done in this show. Make sure you walk with me. Okay, now let's go. Now, we are going to uh, have some uh, cooked rice here. This is roughly about two cups of cooked rice. That was cooked uh, quite a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I tuck it out from the bottom of my refrigerator. It's not even mine. I just move into an apartment and I find out a lot of rice. I mean, uh, rice. <laughs> And then I decided to walk up in this dish because I find a little piece of chicken. So become a chicken fried rice there. And before I find a chicken, she happened to lay, lay an egg. <laughs> and then I will use the egg and then with something else. And then cook up a soup, a soupy doopy with a piece of cow and then a tomato. Wow, tomato has a lot of good stuff. Do you realize tomato actually is not a vegetable? It's supposed to be a fruit? Huh, what's tomato with them? <laughs> and I have some uh, ribs here. This is all from the pork, I think. This is all the rib I can spare. <laughs> Just like accordion, you know, here. All right, now make sure you sit tight and enjoy this. And have fun, eh? Thank you. Now, I'm sure you want to see what kind of apron I have this time. Susie, that's what it is. Now, first of all, I want to turn on the stove so that we can have some something to cook with. Some people, you know, they uh, like to entertain, but I like to guess, you know, my uh, walk so that I can start all those cooking just for you. Now, what should I do first? You have your choice. You have your tomato, a piece of cow, <laughs> and then an egg. Put it there. Now then you have your chicken. Okay. And then the rice. Now we should decide what to do. Isn't it? I don't know what to do, so we have to uh, play a little Chinese game called a chicken and egg. That's all the cup I have. So three of them. Now you decide which one is which. Oh, that's it. Now which one is the, the chicken? This one? Yes. 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 It's not? Yes. No. <laughs> this one? Is it this one? You look at closely. Then you see. Now it's not. Right here. There you are, here's your egg. You know, you get Oh, anyway, this is not really fun. Let's get cracking, shall we? There you are, get cracking. Oh, one egg right there. Get a Chinese uh, egg pita. 
Chinese and pita. Get some salt first. That's right, salt. Oh boy, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> Two pieces of this. Now, this is only two speed. You can't go faster than that. All right, this is, uh, that's it. You get the egg organized. Wow, I have to walk fast. Otherwise, I will walk out of uh, steam. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> well, we take it away. Now, then we get a uh, tomato. How do you cut your tomato? You just cut it up with a cleaver. Just like this. Oh. That's it now. Okay. Tomato. Oh. Cut the top and the bottom. Give it to my brother downstairs. <laughs> That's one tomato we are going to make. All right. Now then we get some beef. Oh. Slice your beef. That's it. Slice it as thin slices. At the thickness of a one eighth of an inch. Wow. That's it. That's a lot of uh, beef here. Now you see? You can slice and then move. Then you can separate, you know, the slice from the cow. Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! Same thing with the chick. Like this, move. Like this, move. Oh, you like it. Oh, isn't that interesting? This is called the meat slicer. Not the finger slicer, of course. Now, this is a uh, two ounces of chicken. But we have to feed the 249 people in the studio. <laughs> so I have to make our budget stretch a little bit by mincing them to 249 pieces. <laughs> oh, boy. I couldn't uh, lift up my... Uh, Cleaver, almost, good. All right, you get this. Now, oh, that's it. Now, we have to get serious, isn't it? Cooking is a serious thing. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you get this. What am I going to do with this? Now, you will uh, boil up some water, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was very quick. It's called a PDQ. Pretty darn quick. <laughs> now, cut up some of this, the green onion. Okay, now get, cut it up, chop them fine. Oh, okay, now we are getting ourselves organized. <laughs> now then you put your cow in, right? Put all the cow into the oil, I mean the water. <laughs> you are making soup for defying the cow. Now then you use a little bit of uh, salt. Three times. <laughs> and then you put a little bit of uh, Chinese cooking wine. Couple shots. Now I have to cook the chicken. What am I going to do? You get a Chinese chicken net. <laughs> then you put it into the broth. Okay, now just uh, flange it a little bit, okay? So now you get the, the chicken flavor as well as the beef flavor in your soup. Soupy doopy. <laughs> That's ready, I think. Now, then you uh, just keep on boiling. Oh, come on, hurry up, boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy, there you are. That's it. Now then, we heat up the wok. And then you can cook your rice whenever you can. One and two tablespoonful of Chinese peanut oil. Oh, that's it. Now you heat it up. Make sure you heat it up. Because if the wok is not hot, then the food will get stuck to the bottom of the wok. Then you'll be in trouble. Now, then you get a piece of uh, onion. This is the onion that I have. Specially cut just for you. Now you get that hot. Then you cut it into small pieces so that you can uh, brown your chicken a little bit. Add some flavor to the chicken. All right, hot oil. Then you put the onion in. Wow. Fantastic. 
Then you put all the chicken. Oh, there you are. Chicken in. Chicken in and put the rice in. After you cook for a minute. Okay, now there you are. Put the rice in. All the rice. Jump right in. Then you put a little bit of Chinese cooking wine, a little bit. And then you get a spatula. Stir your soup. Stir. And then you stir the light. <laughs> stir the light. And then put some salt on your light. Woo! That's it. Put some of the dark soya sauce. Ah, dark soya. That's it. Now, this is interesting. Okay, what about the soup? While well, the soup is boiling, what about? It's nothing. You know, it's just boiling all this beef, you know, right there. But I have to add some flavor. Mm. Nice flavor. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit, few drops of sesame seed oil. Okay, and then put the tomato in. Okay? If one tomato is not enough, you can add 10. <laughs> Depends on the size of your wok, of course. Now, there you are. Then you stir the rice. Okay. Then what do you do? Very simple. You put a little bit of green onion here. Okay? And uh, half pea to the soup. Half pea to the rice. <laughs> now, this is to the rice and the soup. You put it half and half. Now, that's why you have, you should have two walks. Two walks is better than one walk. Of course, it's better than no walk at all. <laughs> now, you get these two, you know, right here. What do I do? Oh, let's try the soup first. I don't know whether it's the right flavor or not. Okay, now, the best way to do, the good, good way to, to, to find out is to taste it, of course. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wow, this is far out. <laughs> a little bit, I like pea, you know, in the soup. You know, look at the peas, you know, right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can hardly wait to get this thing organized. Mmm, mmm. My goodness. Now, I want to add more nice flavor, which is light soy sauce, you know, right there. And we are almost ready. Mmm. Now, all you have to do now, is uh, get a uh, soup bowl, Oops. and then you get this uh, soup right into this nice little tiny soup bowl. This is called the beef tomato, and then I'm going to get the next thing now, right here. Oh, good. Now, mm, this is really exciting, believe me. Now, then you get this rice. If you like, you can put a little bit egg, uh, drop a little egg into this uh, tomato beef soup while it is hot, a little bit now, so that it swirls up, you know, very well. Don't wait until it's too uh, cold, otherwise it won't work. Then you put the egg, you know, right in, into this uh, rice, just stir this way, while there's some heat, you know, there, left, so that you can add some juice to this uh, chicken fried rice. These two things, they are done in this show. Don't walk away, I'll be right back. Thank you. Now, we have to cook this uh, called uh, spare rib in the oriental sauce. I am telling you, you know what color is oriental. And we are going to use curry. Curry spare rib. That's what it is. Now, before we do anything, we'll heat up some oil. Okay, right there. Oh boy, really. This is only uh, six pieces of rib that, that, that they can spare for me. <laughs> Now, this dish is actually very exciting because it gives you the nice smell as well as the nice flavor. Particularly, you know, if you do it the way that I show you. It's very quick and easy. And all you have to do is get an onion. Now, I want to show you how to uh, get this onion organized. Okay, there you are. Put your onion there into the onion holder. A lot of people, they cry when they skin the onion now. You don't do that. You just cut it like this. Not all the way, but just, you know, three quarters of the way, one side, and cool three quarters of the way on the other side. Okay, just like that. Now, that's it. Then you pick it up. 
just go make sure you go through like this and you pick up the other side now watch this now skin right off hey how do you like it that's it then you get your onion organized just like this oh now then you're all over the place get a little bit ginger of course Oh, ginger, ginger, ginger. That's it. This is called a flying cleaver. Okay, now what do you do with the ribs? You will get a uh, little uh, rib pot. Rib pot. Just like that. And then get some salt. Three times. And get, get some of the light soy sauce. Oh, just like this. Oh, light, light, light. And then put some of this uh, wonderful tapioca starch. Just coat this. Oh, that's what you have to do. All right, now then you walk over to the wok and then deep fry this. Deep fry your rib. There you are, hot rib. Just put it there into the hot oil. Okay, then what do you do? You get a Chinese spatula to mix this thing up, of course. Just like this, just stir so that it will cook, you know, more evenly. Okay, very evenly. Then you go and get your curry sauce organized. Okay, now, heat up your wok. And then you get a little star solution. I've got some star solution to make a solution. One knife of this tapioca star. And then you uh, get some water. Ooh, just like that. Oh, very interesting. You stir this, of course. Make more sauce, because uh, you will love the sauce. All right, heat up the wok. One and then two, two tablespoons of peanut oil. And then you put in all those onions when the oil is hot. Oh, yeah. Now, there you are. Then you say hello to the ribs once in a while. Hello! <laughs> That's it, you know, just move this. Move it around. Then you stir the, all those ginger onions. You know, right there. Oh, let it brown. This is also browning. Okay. Really interesting. Then you get some of this curly powder. Couple teaspoons. Oh, more if you like. Oh, yes. Put some of the Chinese cooking wine. Okay, and sesame seed oil. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Then what do we do? Oh, yeah. Then we put all those sauce right in. Okay. Now, and put a little bit, just one teaspoonful of oyster flavor sauce right there. <laughs> That's one teaspoonful. Oh, then you bring it to a boil. What do you do? Then you pick up all those ribs. Okay, now pick them up. You can get a tiny fishing net. And then put them right in. Oh, this is something else. Then you wait until it comes to a boil. All right? Now then you get your plate organized. Oh, yes. Now I get some of this uh, green stuff. Right in the middle of this. Okay, now you can use anything. Romaine lettuce or anything. Just to make sure it looks gorgeous. Even though it doesn't taste good, it's going to look terrific. <laughs> now, then you mix all this uh, rib. Oh, they're walking along very well. All right, now, then you just put it right there. And then get a couple of these uh, cherries, you know, there. On one on each side, you know, just like this. And put all the ribs right on the display. Curry spirit, just for you. Chicken fried rice, you know there? It was very easily done. And you walk over there, you see my soup. Beef tomato soup. And the last dish that I made was the curly spare rib. All done just for you. I hope you like it. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Hungry. Hungry? Mm -hmm. Already? How do you like the show so far? Oh, it was fantastic. Really? Yeah. That was quick, isn't it? Yeah. Less than half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> then we can walk up the storm. 
Let me give you a little bit soup first, so that you can enjoy the little bit soup, and then I can read the fortune cookie. All right, okay. Mike. What do you think? Now there you are. Try it and then see what happens. Go ahead. It's your soup. I'm not going to eat it. The fortune cookie says, "Tastes good." Fantastic. Fantastic, eh? Are you sure now? Mm-hmm. Fortune cookie said, "Zhong cho jiao cho." <laughs> well, that means when you make a mistake, you might as well make the best out of it, and don't worry. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Okay. You want a piece of, uh, you know, chicken uh, fried rice right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I get you a, uh, a a plate, you know, here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you want that? Exchange right. silver spoon. Mm -hmm. Silver spoon. Okay. Now, how do you do this mid-air transfer? Now, you give me one, and I take yours. Now, right. you try it, and let's see what happens. All right? Mm -hmm. Is it cooked? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you have a mouthful of starch, you know? Mm -hmm. Make sure your folks at home, you have to steam the rice first before you do your fire rice. Otherwise, you will get, you know, all those. Then you make a mistake. And you have to swallow all your mistakes. That's what the fortune cookie yeah. says, right? <laughs> okay. Now you, okay, you can eat it just like that. All okay. Right. Try it. Oh, finish it. You know, there you are. Hmm. What do you do? You know, for hobby, uh, Mike. I walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you walk fast? Only when I swim. Only when you swim, you mm -hmm. walk fast. Actually, you know, when you have the soup, you know, that's what it is, you know, you have to uh, really walk fast when you do three dishes, mm -hmm. you know. Actually, Chinese cooking is very simple. All you have to do oh, is enjoy just it. get everything organized. Am I right? Right. Okay, now, why don't you organize and have more soup? And then I'll get you more rice, you know, right here. And folks at home, I hope you also get organized. And then make sure you tune in every time. And then I will walk more dishes for you and you'll be surprised and what you get because it's all kinds of new things every time. So see you next week. For today's fantastic recipe, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to this address. <laughs> <laughs>